One day before my Muay Thai fight, I bought my first luxury watch. And the funny part is, I didn't even want to. I didn't even want to buy the watch. That 30 minutes before buying it. That's that's the funny part. So let me, let me explain what happened. So first of all, like I said, I was having a fight in the ring the next day, and bro, I had, I had to get a haircut, of course. So I went with my buddy. We got a haircut, and then we had like six hours to to kill. We we didn't know what the fuck to do. So I told him, hey man, so how about we go we go look at some clothes, you know, look at some water, some some glasses, you know, buy something. And he was like, okay, for sure, let's go. And I remember as we were walking to the pavement in the center of Athens, we were like, I saw this luxury store where they were selling watches. And I was like, okay, so how about we go in and see what's up? So now the funny part is, like I said, I didn't want to buy anything. In my mind, I was like, I'm either going to buy something with a few hundred, a few hundred bucks, max 500, or I'm not going to buy anything at all. And <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a, a watch type of guy. I don't like them, but I went in, I went in and here's what happened. The, the salesperson there, he saw us. The, the funny part was I was wearing a, a $5 t-shirt. I was wearing a $5 t-shirt because I had, I had some work to do in, in the morning. So I was out and I was wearing, you know, long sleeves. And it was so fucking hot. So I got in a store, I bought a $5 shirt and we kept going. So I, I went in with this $5 shirt and the salesperson there was like, okay, um, sorry guys, but everything here is, uh, is, exp is expensive, he said. It's over $1,000. And I looked at him and I was like, okay, that's fine. No worries. Bro, that was, that was cooperating one-on-one. I was cooperating one-on-one. So... We walk in, we do this, they, he made, <laughs> he made kind of fun of us, and, bro, the first watch he pulled, it was this, it was freaking this, bro, the moment I, I saw this, I was like, bro, this is special, I, I gotta wear this, so I wore it, and the moment I wore it, I was like, man, this is exactly, this feels like it was tailor-made for my, for my wrist, you know, it was, I really liked it, so, I, I put it on, I did some tests, I, I saw it in the mirror, and I fucking loved it. By the way, that's that's a really good marketing tactic you do. When, when you're selling this type of product, you, you let the customers wear it so they can so they can try it on. So, I asked about the price, and he said, it's $3,000. I was like, alright, no problem. Bro, I, I instantly saw my friend freezing there. He froze. Because, before joining... I had told him, if you see me going anything crazy, if you see me kind of hesitant, uh, don't let me buy it. Kind of. That's what I told him. I told him, yeah, that's what I told him. And once we were in there, he he was like, yeah, maybe Orestes, maybe you wanna, maybe you wanna think about it. This is the first watch. This is the first store you come in. Maybe you wanna think about it a little bit more before you buy something like this. And I was like, no, 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 I'm, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> bro the funniest part was while we were in there we were we were testing the the watch we were you know making it for my wrist the size and my friend was taking pictures of us he he, he was there taking pictures of us and the salesperson there was like oh are you a, an influencer or something and i'm like nah nah not yet not yet and it, it was pretty funny. That was it was pretty funny. Everything there, and I even joked with my friend and the salesperson there that I gotta hire him to do my to do my photo shooting and stuff. But anyway, so <laughs> that's when that's when my friend also said something funny. He saw me. I was really into this. I really liked it, and was like, "I see you wearing this watch tomorrow in your fight," and because like I said, I had a fight the next day. Of course, of course, I didn't wear it, but it was just a joke. So, here's what, here's something I want to share with you. So, some of some of the people in my close circle that I told this thing that I, I bought this three thousand dollar watch for, they were like, "Oh, but you could have bought this way cheaper. Why, why buy it there? You didn't even tell me. I could have found this cheaper. I have connections. I have this. I have that." And I was like, "Man, 
I'm not. I didn't buy this watch to cheap out. I didn't buy this watch to save a few hundred dollars or something. I I I paid the experience. Okay, I paid the experience. And when you buy these products, these high ticket products, these expensive, this luxury, if you even call it luxury, I don't even know if three thousand dollars is considered luxury. And bro, it's insane. The, the experience there was insane. The the, the entire process that the salesperson took us through, me and my friend, it was insane. And one of the things I loved is that I took my friend with me. And all of this was because of one thing, copywriting. That's how, that's how fruitful a career as a copywriter can be once you finally make it. Now, if you're, if you're still a beginner, if you haven't broken through this beginner phase, you haven't started making money, yet you're at this point where you keep sending out to reach out to reach out to reach and you're not landing any clients maybe you don't see this as a very bright future but i'm telling you man it's it's insane how much you can achieve that's how i was able to travel <laughs> drop out of college even even pay for the highest quality food man because when i was i wasn't making much money i, I remember i remember even skipping meals just so my money can last longer <laughs> Not even to mention that I was buying the cheapest products, the cheapest foods from the supermarket. But yeah, that's a, a little story I want to share with you about my, my first luxury watch that I bought. So yeah.